And once the kids found out that I was in the WWE, I was their best fucking friend. And I'll tell you the truth, I lied. It was nice to feel like I was a friend. <laughs> but anyway, when I experienced it, it was nuts. Like these communities, they have the highest infection rate by far out of the whole world. It really shouldn't be like that. They were very slow. The government did not distribute information about how to prevent HIV. Superstition was ruling the village. People were not getting the proper medication, proper information. And now all of these parents are dead. They got 2.7 million kids with AIDS, without parents. They're all kind of huddled in these bullshit fucking orphanages that don't have electricity or water. And I'm like, damn. Like our our medical, our big farmer medical institution actually like supports that. Because all the testing happens there. They're the ones that get tested on. That's where the laws are very lax. They pump money into the, that country. And what I was there to figure out was if there was a better, cheaper way to help these kids. So I think it's a world problem. And um, I'm, I look forward to releasing all the information once I can articulate it better. But here's a song I wrote for the kids and for the people in South Africa and all over the world. It goes like this. Now Gozo wants a yo-yo, a yo-yo, a yo-yo. She knows about the ups and downs. The kiddies want a photo, a photo, a photo. I let them take my camera so they can make their rounds. Tom d wants some paper, more paper, more paper. She the boss. She draws Christmas trees with snow. I'm taking them home, all home, to the snowmen to show them what I think they need to know about Zimple. Sfundo, Zakeni, September, Survivor, a promise made to many, an army of old souls in a battlefield of scattered ashes, lost ancient wisdom, and ignored AIDS symptoms. It's bad for me, it's bad for you. These brave soldiers combat the enemies of truth. A broken system with open wound that'll never heal. If we just accept the way it is and never deal. An infection can spread to the head if you let it, don't let it affect the way you think like this is it. Oh, this is it. I saw the risk for all these kids, these horrible years, a never ending waiting list at an orphanage as water drips in a bucket. I could add another drop, but I got a feeling that drop won't fix the leaky ceiling. When the leak gets fixed, what about when the roof collapses? Six siblings sleeping on one single mattress. Ooh, boom, boom. What's bad for you is bad for me. Zitle, Sfundo, September, Zakeni, Dagozo, Tandiwe. Stay strong, be brave. I make sure this world knows your names. You were born on the front line of a country that isn't mine. With a virus I don't have, our family has no ties. Nevertheless, I see you. Sabobona, Yebo, Unjani, I'm fine. I'm just praying for science to turn water into wine. Doc Ozo wants a yo-yo, a yo-yo, a yo-yo. She learned about the ups and downs. The kiddies want a photo, a photo. Photo. I let them take my camera so they can make their rounds. I've seen townships stand proud in the frame of a motion picture. I've seen kids risk exposing themselves to a social stigma. In the name of breaking patterns, cycles of ignorance, hearts full of hope, eyes full of innocence, these are heroes. And now I call to the heads of state, recognize greatness when it's in your face. I traveled half the world to see boys and girls stuck without assistance. You insisted on hosting the World Cup? That ain't love, brother. What happened to you? You beautified the parts of the city tourists traveled through. You built a gorgeous stadium that can't sustain itself, flexing superficial muscles in a false display of wealth. Your most important resources need major help. Think of how the medication and information on AIDS is dealt and beautify the way you save yourself. For God's sake, for human sake, for the sake of public health, one medicine drop in a bucket eventually evaporates. And the socks I bought as I can't even fix fractures or breaks. It's not my suffering. It's not my needlessly complex infrastructure. It's not my culture. Nevertheless, I see you. Salbabuna, Yebo, Unjani, how you doing? I'm fine. I'm just praying for science to turn water into wine.